In the field of the one, there is no solving of karma. And so the field of the one, to get in there, you have to leave the karma at the gate. It was left at the gate, but it was put into one third. They couldn't sustain being at the level of the field of intent. They sank back down to the field of dreaming. In that field, there's a lot of blindness in terms of not being able to see. So now the other two thirds emerge at a much higher level because there is a major, major transcendence happening when you move up into the field of the one. You see so much clearer and now they had to go back to the field of dreaming and this started the second cycle that we are just in and completing three quarters through. Okay, so now the density is more because the gap between these opposites has widened. The third became darker going into the field of dreaming. What little light they had became even less. And the two thirds went into the field of the one and gained even more insight and evolution. So the gap widened and life became more dense. Density makes it difficult to see. When you don't see the karma, when you don't see what you need to see, then hard knocks come. We either learn by grace or we learn through the hard knocks. Because, so this is now a, a reason, another reason why the hard knocks became bigger. So they became more hard knocks. See this, or that you missed previously, see it, because one third of you wants to rise up and move ahead with you, solve the old karma. But in the field of dreaming, vision is so poor, it also accrues more karma. So it's a bit like living on debt. You know, you, you have debt and you figure, oh, I can pay this debt off over the next year. But then you must take into consideration that that's only if there's no more debt accrued. Otherwise, it's just like a dog chasing its tail. But why have the hard knocks been so hard? Beloved ones, I wish, you know, I could tell. There are original ones that come to this path, but usually for monetary reasons, want to leave it and make up their own following and they want to make some income from it and things start to go awry. But basically they abandon this path in favor of financial gain. And I often wonder if they realize this point. The higher the vision that you can accomplish, and in the two-thirds case, very high vision is accomplished in the field of the one, and then you are exposed to old challenges and temptations that you didn't solve before, okay, you should be able to see them clearer. But if you don't, the hard knocks are also very much bigger. The hard knocks increase the further you can see. The larger the field of expression that you're living from. You are living from a multi-macrocosm perspective that has been ages in the making. That's pretty big vision. So if you don't see the karma or you ignore those things that come knocking at your door, the hard knocks are of a macrocosmic stature. They are big, hard knocks.